Hi guys, Michael here. Welcome to another edition of my Florida playlist. Um, as you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about my dining plans for Florida. It's really, really an exciting topic for me and probably some of you guys watching because, let's be honest, we all have food, didn't we? And good food at that. <laughs> and, well, in Florida there are so many different places you can get some great food at. I'm talking in the theme parks. Um, out of the theme park, so at places like International Drive, which is where my hotel is, so I know the area quite well. Um, yeah, there's just there's so many different things in Florida to try, and obviously, as I'm going solo for the first time, I can literally try where I want and just you know go back to places I already like. So I'm I'm gonna do this video in one go because I just find you know doing it all in one go and I don't know it's just natural you know it's my it's my proper thoughts so. Um, where to start? Well, I'm thinking I'll probably discuss my Disney dining plans first because that'll probably be the biggest one which people will want to know about. And I have actually made some reservations already, so um, um, this is where I forget what I've done. <laughs> I haven't written any notes for this or anything, which I probably should have done. But um, I have reserved the 1900 Park Fair, which is a restaurant at Disney's Grand Floridian Hotel. I need to say Gland. I can't speak properly tonight. <laughs> the Grand Floridian Hotel. Now, um, this is a hotel I've always wanted to stay at. It's just a really, really stunning hotel. I know you always see it like when you cross the lake to Magic Kingdom. It's it's really visually pleasing. Um, but yeah, no, so no, it's going to give me a good excuse to go in there. But I'm going there for breakfast. That's going to be on my actual birthday, which some of you guys watching may know the date. <laughs> But you'll see it soon enough in my um, videos from that day. Um, yeah, so that's character breakfast. I think it's called the Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious breakfast. I could be wrong. <laughs> but it does say it includes the um, Mary Poppins characters. What's the characters? I think it's just Mary Poppins. They don't have Bert in Florida, or not very often anyway. But I've met him in Paris a few times, so that's fine. Um, they have the Alice in Wonderland characters. So Alice, the Mad Hatter. Um, and I think there might be a few random ones thrown in there too. But I just thought, because it's my birthday, I just wanted to do something a bit different, something I haven't done before. And this is the cool thing about this trip. It's actually the first time I've ever done Disney character dining, so really, really excited by that. Um, I'm sure I'll get some good selfies and some good character interactions, especially it being my birthday. Um, but that restaurant, 1900 Park Fair, I'll actually be going there another time, which will be the first time, so I should have probably said this in reverse order <laughs> but the first time I'd be going there is for the um, evening meal and that's with the Cinderella characters I've completely forgotten the name of the experience it's not, I don't think it's happy ever after I don't know I can't remember <laughs> but no yeah I'm looking forward to that because I love um, the Cinderella story um, Cinderella's a character obviously Prince Charming will be there um, Lady Tremaine and the ugly stepsisters are normally also there so that should be pretty fun I love the stepsisters I see I told you I can't talk <laughs> the stepsisters no, yeah, they're great characters. Um, I'm sure that'd be fun. And um, one thing that people said to me is, are you going to be alright going to restaurants on your own? You know, you're not going to be nervous or feel a bit silly. And no, because, I mean, I go to restaurants on my own here. You know, so there's no difference really. And obviously, I'm on holiday, so it's not like there's going to be people I know. Or I'll be, well, I'll be very shocked if I do bump into people I know. But no, I, I don't mind. Plus, I'm on holiday, lapping it up. I'm really not going to care. I'm just going to be totally in the moment. But, um... Food wise, so 1900 Park Fair is a buffet restaurant and I have watched loads of videos on YouTube and it just looks incredible, there's so many different options but what got me was I was looking at like all the kids options on the buffet and I thought wow I'll eat most of that. So yeah, really really looking forward to that. Um, okay so like I said I'll be going there, um, let me try and think of the dates, it's my first day. Okay so my, my second full day in Florida is when I'm going to go to the Magic Kingdom. That'd be my first Disney day, so that's when I'm gonna have the um, Cinderella dinner. Um, and then on my birthday, which is my um, penultimate second last day in Florida, that's when I'm gonna have the breakfast, that should be fun. Um, other Disney dining, so again, I can't remember the exact date, but when I go to Hollywood Studios, I'm gonna go to an old favorite of mine, and that's the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. Now, if you guys know me, I'm a massive film nerd, I love the old sci-fi black and white films and I just love the American diner culture and if you guys have never well if you're not familiar with this restaurant basically it's inside a building but it looks like you're sitting in Cadillac cars and you're watching a big um, 
movie screen in a proper drive-in theatre. It's really, really an incredible experience. But also, one reason I want to go there is slightly different. Because, well, Hollywood Studios was built in 89 and the basic premise of the park was, you know, films were made there and it was celebrating basically behind the scenes of films. And I didn't know this, but a lot of film props are actually still situated in the park. And one of my favourite Disney films is The Rocketeer. Hopefully some of you guys watching this have seen it. I think it's brilliant. But um, in the sci-fi dining theatre, there's actually some props from the film hidden in one of the walkways to the restaurant. So I'm, I'm going to try and hunt them down. And there's also some other props throughout the park from The Rocketeer. So yeah, hopefully I'll find them. <laughs> Going off on a different tangent now. But no, yeah, um, the sci-fi driving theatre is basically um, typical American food. You know, burgers, ribs, that kind of thing. Um, if... I've been there before in the past with my mum on previous trips and the food wasn't exactly spectacular but I think you know you're kind of paying for the experience and I just totally loved it so yeah I'm going there. Um, one restaurant I've booked um, which is one a lot of you guys will know is the Rainforest Cafe and this is the one at Animal Kingdom which I haven't actually been to before. So I've done an, I, oh, I can't talk again sorry. I've done the Animal Kingdom in London, the one at Disneyland Paris at Disney Village and the one that, um, what is now Disney Springs in Florida, which used to be downtown Disney. But I've never done the one at Animal Kingdom, because I've only been to Animal Kingdom once, and that was back in 2001, I believe. So yeah, I've not been there for 18 years. So yeah, I thought, I thought it'd be quite a nice restaurant to go to, because it's something I know pretty well, and I just think the theming will just look great in Animal Kingdom itself. So yeah, that's booked. And also on that day, I'm doing a very special experience, which is the um, Caring for Giants tour. Now, if you guys haven't heard of that, that's a um, behind-the-scenes tour of the elephants on the Kilimanjaro Safaris ride. So, really looking forward to that because I totally love elephants. They really are one of my favourite animals. And, yeah, again, it's just another special experience for what's going to be a totally special holiday. Um, again, I'm going on different tangents. You know, I could do so many different videos all in one here. And uh, I do apologise, but you know me, I just totally love talking about Florida. And why not? Um, so, yeah, that's... Um, Rainforest Cafe. And uh, what's the other one I've got booked? Have I got another one booked? <laughs> um... Oh, I've just remembered. Okay, so uh, Epcot, I have a restaurant reservation and that's for Via Napoli. As you guys can tell, that's in the Italian pavilion. And Via Napoli is a pizza parlor, basically. But it's a posh one. <laughs> and they have some amazing stone ovens. They're, they're incredible. I've eaten there... Once with my mum before. I don't think I've been there twice. But I remember thinking the pizzas were just brilliant. Because they're authentic. Now, I do like a deep pan, but these are proper thin Italian crust. I don't know why they're that thin. And no, they are really good. Um, but the pizzas were massive, so I might have to order just a smaller one for myself. Because <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to eat one of the massive ones. They are really massive, some of them. Um, it's just, that's what I like about sitting in restaurants. Like, over here, like, when you're around, because you just like, you know, you look at what other people are eating and you think, Oh, I might try that. And then sometimes you think, oh, Christ, I wouldn't be able to eat all that. <laughs> but, yeah, no, that should be good fun. Um, so as you can tell, like I've said, I've, I'm going to places that I've been to before as well. Because, you know, sometimes you just want familiar surroundings. Especially me, because I'm going on my own. But I'm always open to trying new things. But then again, because it's not like I go to Florida every year. I just want to do the things I love. So talk about the things I love. So that's my Disney dining pretty much done. There are other places that I'm going to try in Disney. But um, that's more like quick. Um, counter service restaurants. One of my favourites is um, Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. This is totally brilliant. This is at Magic Kingdom in Tomorrowland. And um, it's. Feeling's not the best, but they have this animatronic alien which like plays a keyboard and sings songs. It's, it's just really cool. I, like, I really like just sitting there watching it while eating. I'll be going there. Um, oh, excuse me. There's other ones I can't remember. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much my Disney dining plan. Um, let me think. Okay, so let's talk about other parks. So, SeaWorld. Um, I honestly can't remember the names of any of the restaurants there. And I'm probably only going to get a snack there. Because that morning, I'm going to probably go to a restaurant called Friendly's, which is on International Drive. And I'll be talking about the restaurants there in a little while. Um... Yeah, my days I go to SeaWorld, I'll probably, I'll probably be eating on International Drive in the evening, so I'll just be getting snacks in the park. Um, Universal. Now, 
again, I'm probably only going to go to the quick service restaurants there. I love Mel's Drive-In because, like I said, I love the, the American diner experience. I just think it's great. Um, but Universal City Walk, which is a bit like um, Disney Village or Downtown Disney, Disney Springs, Universal's version. There's so many different options there. There's quite a few new ones I want to try, like the um, Chocolate Emporium. That looks so cool. I think it's called Toothsome. Is it Toothsome? Comment, guys. I'm sure you'll know. Um, oh, excuse me. It's my hay fever. <laughs> oh, I do apologise. Um, one restaurant I'm going to go to at City Walk at Universal is the Hard Rock Cafe. Because, again, a bit like the Rainforest Cafe, Hard Rock Cafe is one of my favourite restaurant chains. I, you know, I love my music, especially rock music. And I just love seeing all the real memorabilia, you know, all the real guitars, drum kits. It's great. But... I'm going to go there on the day that I've got another special surprise. Well, it's not a surprise, it's a treat for myself, really. I'm going to be seeing um, the 80s icon Adam Ant in concert. And I'm just so lucky that he's going to be out there while I'm there, because I'm actually a really big Adam Ant fan. Not Adam and the Ants, you know, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, no, really love his music. And yeah, I thought it might as well make sense eating at the restaurant where he's going to be playing. No, <laughs> don't get me wrong, he's not playing like, in the actual restaurant. There is a massive... Um, it's not massive, it's like a theatre where they do have a lot of gigs. They have some pretty top people there. And the funny thing about the man is, he was actually performing out there um, just after I left on my last trip um, six years ago. So, really lucky that he's there again. That should be good fun. Um, yeah, other universal places, I'm not really quite sure where I'll be eating. It'll mostly be snacks, really. Because my universal days, i will probably be heading back to International Drive in the evenings, early evenings. So, again, I'll be eating on my drive. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much the theme park dining covered. Um, I'll be talking about Bush Gardens because I'm not going to be going there. Um, okay, so let's talk about International Drive. So, International Drive is one of my favourite places. I really, really love talking about this. It's kind of like, I suppose, the Las Vegas Strip, but Florida's version. And my god, there are so many places to eat. So many amazing places. Now, one of my favourite places, um, which I'll be eating at twice, so I'm planning on going there pretty much after I arrive and have checked in and um, on the day I leave that's the Olive Garden I love Italian food and the, the Olive Garden is the home of one of the most amazing meals I've ever had which is a um, chicken alfredo pasta oh man <laughs> the thought of it now is really making me hungry you know I really really love that place and they give you free salad which I'm not fussed about and they also do free um, garlic bread sticks which are to die for they're so amazing yeah Olive Garden's incredible um, it's a chain restaurant Shame we don't have any of them over here in the UK because we could do one of them over here. I'd be here all the time, I would. <laughs> um, another international drive favourite of mine is Friendly's, which I mentioned earlier in the video. Friendly's is another American chain. It's it's your standard American family food, really. But what they do, they do some amazing toasted sandwiches, like for breakfast. Um, they do them for dinner. All meals, really. There's just something different about American toasted sandwiches. I don't know if it's the sourdough bread or the cheese they use, but it's just, I don't know, I just love them. But yeah, I'll be going there and they do do some very nice milkshakes, which I think are one of their specialities, so I might be getting one or two of them as well. Um, another place is Hooters, every young man's dream. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to going there, of course. Um, the food there is good. A lot of people assume Hooters is just a, um, I don't know, a bit of a like, um, not a trampy place, but I don't know. I don't know. But a, lot, a lot of people don't realise it is actually quite a family friendly restaurant. I mean, yeah, the pretty girls working there wear the tight tops and the shorts, but you know, that's what they're famous for. But you do see a lot of families in there. Maybe not British families so much when I've been out there, but a lot of American families are there. But it is, it is funny because it's so stereotypical. You do see like the other, the guys with the families are just looking off. <laughs> but I'm on my own, so you know, what the heck. Got to get a um, selfie with a Hooters girl or two. <laughs> sure, I'm sure that'll be done, as you'll probably see in the vlogs. Because one thing I'm going to do is definitely vlog a lot of the places I dine at. Because, like I said, we all love food, don't we? And we like to we like to see what other people like and um, honest reviews too. So, if I do have a bit of a crappy meal, which is very very unlikely in Florida, I will say I will be honest. Um, yeah, Hooters is another favourite. Um, there's a TGI's on iDrive, which is pretty good, I've been to before. But then again, TGI's is something we can have over here, so I probably won't go there this time. Um, that's probably all the places I can really think of. There's another one, another little restaurant, 
which is a big, big family favourite, and that's called the Village Inn. It's um, slightly um, further from the hotel, so might have to get an Uber there. But the Village Inn is, again, a bit like Friendly. It's a tiny little American um, family cooking kind of place. Family cooking? I don't know. I, couldn't know. I didn't know how to describe it. But no, that, we've been going there, like, God, since, well, since I first went to Florida as a little toddler. And there's this one lady that's been working in there for years. She's probably as old as the furniture, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Bless her. But they do some amazing American pies. Now, if you guys don't know what American pies are, that's, that's basically their versions of sweet desserts. They're just incredible. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the dining that I can think of. Now, I could, I could do a separate video for snacks, but I'll just do some off the top of my head. So, a lot of the famous Disney snacks, like... Um, the Dole Whip, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of that. I've never tried one. I haven't actually tried hardly any of the famous Disney snacks. So, a Dole Whip, a Mickey Waffle, I've, I've, I've had one in Paris. Um, Mickey Pretzel, um, Turkey Leg, never had one of them giant turkey legs. There's so many, but I'm going to hopefully try them all on this trip. There's just so many. And one really cool one I want to try is the Cheshire Cat Tail. That looks an incredibly sweet treat. Um, you yeah, know, that's pretty much the dining off the top of my head. Again, I'm sorry if this wasn't really planned, but it was just an honest, excitable video as always. And I think my next one will um, be about my plans for the trip and some of the new things I want to try. So I'll see you at the next video.